Hey guys, welcome to week 11 of Weight Loss Wednesday. I say this every week, but 11 weeks is a long time. I mean, it's a significant part of the year. It's going on three months already that I've been doing this, so it's definitely becoming a lifestyle change for me and not just some fad thing or New Year's resolution. It's definitely continuing to be part of my life every week, and it's just crazy to me that time has flown by so fast. So I will start off with the good news if you follow me on my fitness pal. If you don't, my username is down below. It's just hkd1122. I lost three pounds this week. Yay! I'm so excited, which puts me at a total loss. I believe 18.8 pounds is where I was at. Yep, 18.8 pounds, which is amazing. We are leaving. Today is March 20th, so that leaves us with like a month and 20 days or something like that, 22 days, something like that before we are leaving for LA and my goal is to have lost 30 pounds by that time or before that time. So I am well on my way. I have 11.2 pounds left, which is totally doable in a month and a half. I'm gonna try and make this a quick video, but I do wanna kind of give you guys a rundown of my initial thoughts on the 21 day fix. I am on day five, because I started it this past Monday. I'm recording this on a Friday. I know, so sorry. I know a bunch of you guys were waiting for this video because you're interested in the 21 day fix. So I didn't bring the containers here, but you guys saw them in my last weight loss Wednesday. Um, and you can go look that look that up under week 10 if you want to have a weight loss Wednesday playlist. But essentially what this is is like a portion control and um, they have you set up on a whole eating plan and a workout regimen. So my mom ordered this. I'm not sure where she ordered it from but you literally can google 21 day fix and so many websites where you can buy it pop up. I want to say she paid like $65 for each of them. And my friend Stephanie said, I wanna say 80, 85. So depending on where you buy them, you can get them a little cheaper, a little bit more expensive. So what you do is they have a calculation in here. You take your current weight times 11, and that's what you're supposed to be having for the month, that's your, uh, for the month, for the day, that's your caloric baseline. So that's how many calories your body needs to maintain its current weight. Then you take that baseline and add 400. And the reason they want you to add 400 is because they're assuming that you're going to be doing the 21 day fix workout regimens because they have you set up to do a different workout every single day. And they're assuming that you're gonna lose or burn 400 calories. So they have you add 400 to that. That equals the caloric needs that you need for the day while you're working out. The next thing you do is you take off 750, which is your calorie deficit, and that's your calorie target. And then it says if your number, if your total number, your calorie target that you get is less than 1200, you round up to 1200, and if it's more than 2300, round down to 2300. So that's the category I was in. I believe I was at like maybe 2400 calories or something like that, which is more than what I had been eating with my fitness pal. So I round down to the 2300, which puts me in the highest category. So these are the categories right here. So hopefully you guys can see that the calories are up at the top and I'm in the highest category category, <laughs> category here. And then it has the color of um, each of the containers and how many you can have. So I'm gonna try and do this. The green, I can have six. What's next? Purple, I can have four. Red, I can have six. Yellow, I can have four. Blue one, orange one, and then six teaspoons of um, peanut butter or coconut oil, stuff like that. I hope you guys don't mind. I'll just leave you zoomed in for a bit so I can show you all this stuff. And then in another part of the book, it has uh, each container and some of the things that you can eat. Now pretty much there, this is the stuff that you they want you to eat while you're on the 21 day fix. And essentially if you read the book, it says the higher up on the list, the better, the more nutritious it is for you. Um, that doesn't always happen for me just because some of the stuff on the hot, top of the list I'm not real fond of. So I try and pick from the list as high up as I can go. So for the green container, pretty much it's vegetables, um, kale, spinach, broccoli, asparagus, tomatoes. Purple is for fruits. 
pretty much any fruit you can think of is on here. Raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, watermelon, cantaloupe, oranges, tangerine, apple, grapefruit, kiwi, mango, pears, pineapple, banana, and it just goes on and on. The next is the red container, which is your protein, so you can have pretty much any kind of lean meat you can think of. Um, pork, fish, turkey, ground beef, um, I mean it even goes as far as like game, buffalo, bison, ostrich. Who wants to eat that? I have no idea. But for those of you that do, it's in here. Um, and then it also includes eggs, uh, plain yogurt, regular yogurt, seafood, protein powder. They recommend Shakeology. I'm not doing Shakeology. I got that question. I'm just doing regular protein powder. You can also do turkey slices, ham slices, cottage cheese, veggie burgers, and turkey bacon. So that's the protein. The yellow container is going to be your carbs. So one thing that they um, include over here is like sweet potato and yams is the first two things on the list. Quinoa, beans, edamame, peas, wild rice, corn on the cob is not a vegetable, it's a starchy vegetable so they include it in the yellow container. Oatmeal, pasta, bread, waffles, pancakes, tortillas, and again it has a whole bunch of stuff but it's just some of the things um, that I really have been eating. <laughs> and then your blue container is your good fats. So avocado, your nuts are on here, hummus, which is really what I've been doing, um, and then your cheeses. So you can have some fattening things, but you'll only get one blue container per day. So what I have been doing is um, one day I used cheese for an omelet, and then most of the other days I've been using it as hummus. And then lastly, your orange container is for pumpkin seeds, flower, uh, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, olives, peanuts, coconut, shredded, or dressings. I have actually been using it for sunflower seeds, and it's the raw, natural kind, which kind of tastes a little stale, but I'm getting used to it. And then you can have, six, for me, for my food group, or my uh, calorie group, I can have six teaspoons of um, extra virgin olive oil, extra virgin coconut oil, or nut butters, seed butters, stuff like that. So I've been using, I don't cook with olive oil or coconut oil, so I've been using peanut butter. And then it also gives you some free foods like water, lemons, limes, vinegar, mustard, herbs, spices, garlic, ginger, hot sauce. So this is a very good companion to continue to keep. I have, I did notice that it really only took me like two days to figure out what everything was and really remember. Now I, I know what each of the cup, the containers, how much it equates to like the purple and the green is one cup. The yellow is um, two thirds of a cup. The, uh, what is the other one? The red is three-fourths of a cup. So, you know, like I can, I know the measurements on it now because I've been doing it for the last five days. So it gets easier. There's more information in the book, like, you know, you can substitute out your yellow containers for a bunch of different things and there's recipes in here. It's just a really good companion to continue to keep with you even while you're doing the fix. So I wanted to show you guys some clips of food that I ate kind of throughout the week. I did a breakfast, lunch, and a dinner, um, and then I took a couple pictures, so I will insert that footage here. Quick breakfast for day one of the 21-day fix. I have a whole grain waffle, just one, which is one yellow container. I have a cup of, or I guess one purple container, which is a cup of mixed berries so I have raspberries and blueberries and that is one purple and then under there I have one red container of Greek yogurt quick lunch idea I took two of the whole wheat whole grain tortillas and in the middle I have some turkey bacon some grilled chicken some mixed greens and some mozzarella cheese you could also if you don't want the cheese you could do avocado to this you could also add beans um, Rice, I mean, you already have two yellows right here with the tortillas and two reds with the um, chicken and the bacon. One green with the mixed greens and then my blue for the cheese. Making my dinner, so this is four cups of mixed vegetables. So there's snap peas, broccoli, carrots, bell peppers, mushrooms, water chestnuts, and I think that's about it. It's like a stir fry pack. It's just frozen veggies, so I have four cups of that. I have, which is four greens, and then I have these little shrimp, they're the extra small shrimp, no tails, um, they're frozen, so I have two uh, reds of those in here. I also, I don't even know that you'll be able to see, but I also put my sunflower seeds, 
in there, which was one orange container full. I used a spray coconut oil that's zero calories, so that didn't count as anything. I know it's really dark in here. I'm in the car. I'm about to go to work, and I wanted to show you guys how I packed my lunch for work. So this lunchbox, um, actually you can get them anywhere. They're like the insulated lunchbox, and um, the company that I work, the hospital that I work for gave it to us when I got hired. So I literally have everything in baggies. I showed you guys that I meal prep and I shoved everything in here so you can see this is full to the brim. I have fruit, my vegetables, um, cucumbers which is counted as a vegetable, carrots which is a vegetable. I have a little tiny thing of raw sunflower seeds, some boiled eggs down there you can see them. I also brought some pork chops and some ground beef and there's that there. And then at the very bottom, you can't see it, but at the very bottom, I actually have a container. Let me see if I can grab it here. A container of tomato sauce. And I brought some whole grain pasta to mix with the ground beef so that I can have that for my dinner. And pretty much throughout the rest of the night, I'll just snack. Um, I also brought some peanut butter and celery. And I'll just kind of snack like once an hour, grab a bag and eat what's in it. And then the way that I've been keeping track of it, I told you my mom is also doing this, um, and she actually lost 7.6 pounds this week, but she's been doing it about a week and a half, so I'm really happy for her, that's awesome. But I wanted to show you guys how I've been keeping track of all of this. I got this question a lot, and I am keeping track of it on my fitness pal, so if you're still curious in that, it is more work for me, but I find it easier. At first I wanted to just see how the calories lined up. If it was kind of the same calories I had been eating, and it is pretty much. Some days I go a little bit over, some days a little bit under, but for the most part, I'm staying right around 2,000 calories intake. So although I'm keeping track of it on my fitness pal, I'm also keeping track of my containers in this Erin Condren wellness journal. I will have a link down below to the Erin Condren website. This is like a whole movement on YouTube and just in general. Planner freaks around the world, love Erin Condren and I never jumped on the bandwagon until I started following I believe her name is Andrea Montalano Matiliano something like that I have no idea how she pronounces her last name and I got her recommendation from Stephanie she started doing the 21 day fix because of her so I was like oh let me go check her out and she had the cutest idea for tracking your food she does it in her Erin Condren planner but I noticed that Erin Condren came out with this little wellness journal which is so much easier to keep track of it's literally just like a little journal it's six dollars on the Erin Condren website um, like I said I will have it linked down below and actually if you sign up through the link or rather if you register your email it'll send you a ten dollar coupon so really all you have to do is pay for shipping so I ended up getting the wellness journal and then also the markers live life in color and it comes with six extra fine point pens and they work great in this little journal. So essentially what this is, is it's just a really colorful way of writing everything down and I totally copied this from her. I have no uniqueness about it. She posts pictures on her Instagram of how she would lay out all of this and I did it exactly the same way. So if you follow her, you're probably familiar with seeing this, but pretty much it's just, it's 15 weeks. So it's the same thing over and over and it's, it's meant for to keep your nutrition so like if you don't have a phone a smartphone where you could get my fitness pal this is essentially the same thing just writing it down so you can see on the top it has it's a monday through sunday type uh layout and it has breakfast snack lunch snack dinner and then fitness and then it has this area down here where you can write whatever you want a little note section on the side and then it has your water consumption on the top so what she did which is where I completely copied her is she got different each of the colors of the 21 day fix containers and she drew hearts down here for how many she can get in each area and I did the exact same thing so I have green uh, purple red yellow, blue, and orange, and then the pinks are the six tablespoons, or six teaspoons, and um, then I just divvy it up throughout the day. So you can see here, on the first day I did great, I got everything. I missed a green here, I missed a green here, I missed a purple yesterday, and then right now I've only done breakfast. So, um, and then this kind of just gives you an idea of what I was eating. So on the first day I had berries, Greek yogurt, and a waffle. 
And then for snack, I had some sunflower seeds, celery, and then my peanut butter. For um, lunch, I had some mixed greens, chicken, and I actually recorded some of this stuff so you'll be able to see. But um, like yesterday, for instance, I kind of lumped a bunch of things together and the whole idea is for you to be able to eat lots of food throughout the day like this day instead of having everything kind of lumped together there. But I'm trying, I'm doing my best, so I have, and then down here for my activity, the 21 Day Fix has you do certain workouts on certain days, and that's what I have there. Now, I have to say, I did not do the 21 Day Fix workouts, and that's for the simple reason that, aside from the fact that I worked, I couldn't get the, C the CD to work because I don't have a DVD player in my main living room downstairs. We have Apple TV and we moved the Apple TV upstairs and so I tried to get the DVD to work on my laptop and I couldn't get it to work. So I've just been doing my own workout. I've been walking on the treadmill. I did Zumba a couple days. I think I ended up working out four days this week, which probably has, aside from changing up my diet, it probably has a lot to do with the fact that I've been working out a little bit more and the fact that I lost three pounds because other than the very first week that I started, I've never lost more than two pounds. Like, a pound and a half, you know, almost two pounds, somewhere around there. I've never lost more than that, and I really never made an effort to work out too much. So that is what I did, and I'm super proud of myself because when I look at this, it just makes me happy. It makes me think I'm putting good, nutritious food into my body. I can't lie, when I was counting calories, it wasn't any more satisfying than what it is now. It's still just as satisfying. It's just I was eating worse things for me because I could still count calories. I wasn't as worried about fat content and carbs and stuff like that. And although some of this stuff isn't necessarily, you know, 100% nutritious, clean eating, I still do have some carbs and stuff in my diet. They're all whole grain and whole wheat. And so I'm trying to fix things. I don't know that the 21 day fix is going to work for me forever. But for right now, it's doing great. So anyway, I know this was a longer video than what you guys are used to for Weight Loss Wednesdays. I just had a ton of information that I wanted to um, give to you about the 21 Day Fix. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried this, if you have any tips or tricks for it. And then um, let me know for next week what you guys would like to see. Maybe a day of what I'm eating on the 21 day fix or a workout routine or I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I hope that you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.